All right, this is number 21. Wow. So last video, I had my first giveaway. Um, I randomly got a pack of Prism in an auction I think I won for $55. And actually looking at the prices online, those packs of Prism go for about 50 bucks. So somebody's gonna get a $50 pack. That's a great deal. So I'm gonna talk a lot about the giveaways. What I've decided is I'm gonna do about five, six, seven, eight different giveaways, all the same format. So in the video, I'm gonna mention what you have to do. And all it is, is you have to comment in that video post. And then on April 1st, I'm going to look at each video and pick one random comment. There's a lot of neat websites where you can enter the link of the eBay video, and then it automatically gives a random comment. So it's like a random comment generator. It's kind of cool. So something in this box, and I'm going to show you, I'm going to pick to give it away. Probably something that I can fit in a bubble envelope. Now this box right here, this container, it is a bunch of random stuff that when I lived in an apartment six years ago, I just threw all the random memorabilia in here. And I haven't looked at it since. So I'm just kind of curious what is actually in here. So it'd be kind of a walk through memory lane. Um, some will go pretty quick. All right, the first one, I don't like golf. But I did go to a PGA championship practice. So it was a practice round. So they invited some fans in to let them take, let them watch them practice. Tiger Woods was not there. He practiced before the, the fans were allowed to come in, I think at nine o'clock. I think Tiger did his practice stuff before that. I didn't know any names. But the cool thing is my friend Jim had some free tickets to go there. It was a program called Ticks for Tots. It was in the Twin Cities and they, they found a way to get tickets and give them to kids that might not have the opportunity to do an event like that. So I went to this and I took two kids that were at the local middle school that I was working with. So the three of us went up there and one was a golf fan, one was not, and I wasn't, but it was a fun experience. So, got some memorabilia. It's really all the golf memorabilia I have, but. This one, Kirby. Met him in person probably in 94 when I got this one signed. Let's see what else we got. Build it. They wanted a new uh, stadium for a couple years instead of the Metrodome. These were a giveaway for a couple games of the Metrodome. Ooh, Mark Textura. Textura? Textura. Tex Mark. Jersey card. Ooh, Barry Zito. Ooh, Jumbo Auto. Try to find some sleeves for those. Oh, this is best. This is cool. A Christmas gift from one of my students at Twins Baseball. It's got her name on it, but it says, you're the best. Unique present from a student. Ooh, my badge for student teaching. How exciting for Winona State. Just random, random, random memorabilia. Michael Jordan watch. Got that in about 92. You can tell that it wasn't licensed by Chicago Bulls because the Chicago Bulls logo was removed. Ooh, this is the Aaron Senio was talking about. Believe it or not, this was on eBay. He played in the, I think the under 18 USA team. He was actually the big 12 player of the year, but he graduated from local high school. 
This is from the 1992 Simply the Best. So in 92, you could go to the metronome and get some signatures. I recognize this one as Kevin Tappany. Gary Wayne, pitcher. Mm. That might be it that I recognize. Ichiro. That patch. That's pretty cool. Yeah, those jumbo cards, I just have no clue what to do with. I should find a case before they're worth nothing. Freddie McGriff. Wow. Frank Viola. <laughs> this one. This one. Wow. That's me. <laughs> uh, about that. Ooh, it even have my stats on there. 91, I batted 370. How cool. Ooh, vote Joe. Joe Maurer, all-star. So I mentioned that the time when I took a picture and Carl Pavano saved me a bunch of money, this was the event. Justin Morneau casino night. So this is a deck of cards. But also at the casino night, we got some poker chips. Because everybody that came got to play in some of the blackjack tables. I decided not to use the poker chips. I decided to get players to sign it. So Kevin Slowey. Um, I don't remember that one. I think it's Matt Tolbert. These are just random Twins players that were there. Oh, I can't remember who this is anymore. Maybe Denard Span. This one had one on each side. Hmm. I don't know. Again, you get random stuff. Ooh, a certificate of authenticity. Don't remember what that was from. Maybe the Randy Moss or Terrell Davis, eight by 10 maybe. 87 bumper sticker. Ooh, a certificate of authenticity for the Doug Mankiewicz bobblehead. Put that on here. Yep. Oh, this was my uh, VIP pass when we did the PGA thing. Had that around my neck, looking awesome. McGuire. Uh, this was a gift from a student when they came back from Florida. I seem to keep every single one of my games that I've ever been to from my childhood. See one from Gopher Basketball, Metrodome, a whole bunch of random stuff. Not worth anything, but just kind of neat. <laughs> a USA flag from 1991 score. <laughs> there I am again, playing baseball. Exciting. Vikings. Such random stuff. Is that a belt buckle? Random. Duke Snyder. Oh, yeah, that's that's random too. Let's see. Never know what you're gonna find. Here's some jumbo cards you never know what to do with. Just the oddball size ones. Um, Cecil Fielder, Andy Van Slake. Uh, postcards. These are actually, I'm glad I found these. So these are the 1985 postcards. These actually hold some value. Because I believe this is from 19... Yeah, these are from 1985. So this is kind of an oddball rookie card of... Puck it. There's Herbeck, Gaetti, and so forth. I'll actually put those somewhere. I think I could find a local buyer for those. 
Um, Marion Gab Gabrick. Marion Gabrick. We took kids to a game at the Excel Center and sat in a luxury suite and it was for him. He liked to do stuff for the community and allowed people to, I think this is one. So it definitely was some cool VIP kind of things we got with this. So we were able to go to the suite and one of the videos that I actually edited was actually shared on the Jumbotron. It's really cool. Neat experience. <laughs> Speaking of neat experience. Gene Larkin from the 91 World Series. This is probably a 95. Oh man. Gene Larkin holding up his ring. I think he had a really big hit in 1991. Again, totally random. There's a Pedro. I'm gonna swap out this Pedro for the Kirby. I want the Kirby in a case. Much better use of the case. All right, Pat Williams. Man, this is from 07. So this might have been, yes, this is. This is Adrian Peterson's first game. It's the first, it's the first game of the 2007 um, season. This is another one where we sat in a, a suite. And I remember Adrian, Peters, Adrian Peterson's first touchdown. I think it was a catch. He had like one in his first rookie year. But it was a catch for a touchdown. I remember him running towards us, which was really neat. Um, oh, wow. This is going to hold value. TC, the mascot, signed ticket. Oh, this one's actually worth money. I've been looking for this. Sweet. Sports Illustrator for Kids, Kobe Bryant. These actually sell for 40, 50 bucks. Nice <laughs> score. It's a little, I should spend time kind of flattening it. I never thought it would be a $50 item. Oh, can't live in Minnesota without a Homer Hankey. So this is from 91. Everybody in Minnesota thinks they're rich because they have one of those. They sell for about two bucks a piece. Um, oh, this is a photograph of Adrian Peterson, first preseason game. So I went to his first preseason game ever. And I went to his first regular season game. Weren't allowed to take pictures back then. This is the only picture of Adrian Peterson in the house. Big deal. Okay. This was another event that we took kids. We got to sit in a suite. I think back then... This is probably like 2007. <laughs> this is who they're permitting. Can you actually name who that player is? I have no clue. Once Garnett left, not a very good team. Oh, here's another one. Oh, so we got T Jack, Tavares Jackson. Took a couple pictures of that game. Oh, we got matches from when I went to, when I was a kid, probably 96. Last video I talked about Boynton Beach where my cousins live. You can see that. But in Boca Raton, Florida, he has a restaurant. So I got a signed 8x10 of him. He wasn't at the restaurant the day that we were there, but he's there often. Hmm. Thought these were really neat as a kid. Post cereal collector series. I like those. I have no clue what those hold in value. Probably not much. Ooh, is that Sebastian 
the Telfor, something like that. Let's build it. Oh, I feel bad. We were so bad for a while. All right. Towards the end, nothing that great. Still have some uh, tickets for the gift shop at Pete Rose. I wonder if they're worth anything. Hmm. Ooh, another. This is my middle school days. Corey Fuller, cornerback for the Vikings. Another Polaroid picture. How fun. This is from Burger King. Ooh. So I don't know, this is probably 98. I think this is the only year that Randall, McD Randall Cunningham played. Yeah, Culpepper, so must have been 99, because Culpepper was a rookie in 99. Ooh, I wish they got pack five, Randy Moss. So in this pack, I can also get Matthew Hatchett and Mitch Berger, the former punter. Um, here's another poker chip. There's a Treasure Island symbol that sponsored it. Frosted Flakes. I wonder what player that is. Hmm. I don't know if you can tell. Oh, Penny. There you go. Penny Hardaway. So this was in a cereal. This could actually be sold for something. I bet someone would pay five, ten bucks to send it to him. Unopened. See, as a kid, I always thought everything was gonna increase in value, so when I got this as a fifth or sixth grader, I was like, oh, I'm gonna keep it. Because one day in 2021, I'm gonna make a 10 bucks. Well thought out plan. Well executed, young Mike. Uh, there's some more games I went to. I got so dang lucky. I probably sat in about 20 different suites. But every time we went, we took students. Yeah, it's right there. Sat in a suite for, this is Adrian Peterson's first game. Here it says game three. But I find it hard to believe that we played three games in September 9th. Probably is the two preseason games Game three probably is the first game of the season. That makes sense. Now, if Adrian Peterson signed this ticket, then it might be a couple hundred bucks. His first game. That's cool. Here's another wild game. The Cambria. So is the Cambi Cambria suite that donated about half of the different home games to Ticks for Tots to allow kids to use the suite instead of the CEOs and executives at Cambria. So that's, that was pretty cool. Oh, this is random. Oh, look at me. Oh, that has nothing to do with memorabilia. Why is this in here? Oh, oh. Oh, there's my Kirby certificate. Better put that by Kirby. Now I just added $2 of value to it. All right. Hey, we're almost all the way done. I don't know what that's from. Maybe Twins Fest. Ooh, Winona State alumni. Oh, this is kind of cool. Space Jam Pog. That's actually kind of cool. I'm going to put that with my Jordans. I'm going to sell it. Found a couple things worthwhile. The Pucket Postcard. The Kobe Sports Illustrated for Kids. And that. 
Oh yeah, this one, when you went to the wild game, I don't know anything about hockey, but I did talk to this guy for a while. He came into our suite and wanted to share kind of his, what he, his experience being in the NHL. So then I went to eBay and got his card for a buck ninety nine. For being a card from the early 70s, pretty good condition actually. A little off center, but I'd probably get a seven. A grade for a seven. PSA is a little more lenient on grading for centering. Hmm. Well, I think we're down to the end. And then we gotta decide what I give away. This is from a, one of my early Twins games. This had to be 92, 93. This is a cutout of Chuck Knobloch. Um, This is uh, proof that I got Kevin Tappany's autograph. Oh my, now I could sell it for $2. That's my brother Jeff in the green shirt and then me right in front at the Metrodome. All right, so what am I gonna sell or give away? Let's go Homer Hanky, because I know I have a bunch of these. And if you don't live in Minnesota, you probably wouldn't have ever seen one of them. Let's go Homer Hanky. And... Let's go something random. Let's go this. Let's go Michael Jordan watch. It doesn't work, but it's random. So we're gonna give away a Michael Jordan watch and a Homer hanky. All right. So all you gotta do is comment what your favorite thing in this whole thing was. Kirby ball, pennant, whatever it is. So what is your favorite thing? I'm gonna throw in a uh, Matt Tolbert signed poker chip too. Three things, Homer Hankey, Jordan watch doesn't work and an autographed poker chip. I guarantee the pop count on this is zero. Nobody submitted this to PSA. This might be an only one, only one ever available for all you Matt Tolbert fans out there. All right, so all you gotta do is write down your favorite thing in the video, and then April 1st, I'll randomize it, and one person will get this shipped in the mail. If it's a local friend, yeah, come to my house and get it. I'm not gonna give it to you. You just gotta come over and get it. Okay, all right, that is it. That's my random container of somewhat junk. Uh, but there's some, I found three things that I might sell. I'll take that. This isn't junk, these are for my students. But I don't need to explain it, you know, it's not junk. All right, I think pretty good. And I would love to see your random boxes because I think if you, like cards, if you like memorabilia, you tend to hold on to things that maybe don't carry value. I would assume that almost everyone has a box of random junk that they at one time thought they were gonna be, make them rich. And you buy stuff having big hopes and then they never come true. Okay. Well, Kirby, I'm gonna put you over there, Kirby. Gary Gaetti, Kent Herbeck, sorry, you're going back in the box and we'll see you in six years.
These are kind of cool. These are actually numbered to 5,000. I wonder if there's a market for that. Because obviously if they're the, the smaller ones, they do hold value. I wonder if there's a Griffey. Uh, now I gotta go look. 